Complain to whomever I want. You bet. Hi all. It's my first post here. Also, English isn't my first language. So please forgive any mistakes. Some background. You can also read the AITA post on my profile. The last school year has been challenging for me at work. I'm an English high school teacher. Not in the US. And the work environment at that school has been going from bad to worse as the school year progressed. Our principal has created a very hostile and toxic work and learning environment that has made many young teachers leave, even at the start and middle of the year. Very uncommon in my country. I, 32M, and many of the other teachers have felt bullied and oppressed. Our complaints went unheard and ridiculed, with the principal targeting many of us, young and experienced teachers alike, for public shaming sessions. And my turn came last week. I asked for a meeting with her to discuss my desire to go back to university next year to complete my thesis, which would have resulted in me taking Tuesdays off. All teachers in my country get a day off, which is usually for us to choose. As soon as I walked in, she called the pedagogical administrator, and they both started a 30 minutes shaming session. I was told that I am a lousy teacher. My classes are boring. They never attended any of my classes. That I have conspired to ruin English teaching at our school. And that students, parents, other teachers, and administrators have been complaining about me. She wants teachers to work full time which she knows I planned on doing anyway and have been asking for it for two years, and advised me to take a break from teaching, unpaid leave. I was shocked and speechless. In my three years at that school, I received only praise from everyone I worked with. My students, their parents, and colleagues love me, to which I have written proof. The following day, I went ahead and turned in my notice. She called me a liar. I told other teachers what happened as they saw me coming out pale and on the verge of tears out of her office, and said that I couldn't take criticism. She has also started lying about me to colleagues and other school principals. They all know me and told me. She also told me to complain to whomever I want. Cue malicious compliance. Following excellent advice I got on AITA. I waited to file the complaint until I secured a new position. However, I decided to follow that last bit of advice from her. I sent it to whomever I thought might be interested the Regional English Teaching Inspectorate, the Regional General Inspectorate, the Teachers Union, any other official and inspector I knew in my country's Ministry of Education. And the best part every teaching college and program in a 200 kilometer radius which included the most prominent and largest education programs in my country and area fallout the principal had to beg the ministry to send them new teachers as quite a few of us left at the end of last year most of the poor english teachers she did get contacted me via mutual friends and colleagues asking me for help getting new positions as the work environment has only gotten worse. A request to which I gladly obliged. The complaint itself didn't impact the principal professionally, but she will have a pretty difficult time filling positions for the next few years. A few colleagues from that school will join me next year as they kept calling me to vent about the worsening conditions there. So I just told them to send me their CVs, which my coordinator was more than happy to receive. As for me I found a wonderful school outside of my city where I could rediscover my love of teaching. Not only have I found a place where I feel good, but I also found a second job I now teach at my local college, where the hourly rate is five times my school salary. I have also found the courage to start something I always wanted to do move to another country. Which I'm on track to do in 2024. Edit. Spelling. Sounds like a completely toxic person. Glad you got out. We can only hope that she eventually moves somewhere more appropriate. Where she does not supervise anyone else. 
she will have issues filling vacant positions for as long as you keep taking her advice. Please keep in touch with as many teachers as your former school as possible. Please ask them to pass on your contact information. Please keep disseminating what fell actions she takes across your country. Please make it impossible for her school to hire so long as she works there and please keep the politicians in your area informed. When the Ministry of Education gets tired of explaining to representatives and leaders in your community why they are failing to staff your former school, she will be removed. Hopefully she will also be prevented from ever working in education again. And please make sure she knows you are doing as she asked. Your English is excellent. If I may make one correction. As you are teaching others. K is not a word in English. Yes. People on this sub use it all the time. But they shouldn't. The correct word is Q. Like on a theatrical stage production. Q the lights. Congrats on your new job. And your excellent revenge. Mate, good story, but more importantly your English is a lot better than many native speakers' smiley face. As a career educator, I completely understand how toxic people become principals of schools. It happens far too often. Congratulations on surviving and getting a better position elsewhere. I think the saying goes you can fix ugly but not stupidity. In this case not only can you not fix her level of ugly she applies to everyone's life. But the stupid is off the charts. This is amazing and you are awesome. I'm so glad that you are back to loving your profession. I hope 23 sees you achieving that goal. Ah, your English is fantastic. I am floored they fired you in the first place. Congratulations on your new jobs. Welp. Your English is superb. So IDKWTF that principal was talking about. I am so proud of you for improving your life so wonderfully. You were brave to stand up for yourself. But your bravery has and will help countless other people. Both directly and indirectly. Marginal compliance. Nice personal ad though. Haven't been sent to see someone's profile so often in a post since the last time I went to our OnlyFans. So you made the situation horrible for the students just to make yourself feel better and get some petty revenge. What an awesome teacher. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.